everyone and welcome to another Pokemon card video! This week we're going to be doing a bit of a Legendary Birds Week because right here I've got the Articuno pack and back there I've also got a Zapdos and a Moltres so we'll be doing those this week as well. Also, Dan the Pumpkin is still chilling in the background right there. But yeah, we're going to do all three of these this week and it kind of makes sense to start with Articuno. I mean, he's got Uno in the name so we'll, we'll do it in the order of the names as well. But we got the pin right here, we've got three booster packs from a bunch of different X and Y sets. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back right here. Got some awesome art of Articuno. He got like a smaller art, then you got the jumbo art right here of him in the background. I think it's the same picture, just shown twice there. But here it says, give your collection a boost. Power up your Pokemon TCG collection with three booster packs and show your Pokemon pride with one of three awesome Pokemon collector's pins. Articuno, Zapdos, or Moltres. And as you can see, three Pokemon TCG booster packs and one of three Pokemon collector's pins featuring a legendary Pokemon. So of course, they're all going to be the legendary birds there. So let's go ahead and open this up and check out that pin. Wow, this is actually open fairly easy. <laughs> wow. It just flew open. We got this piece of plastic. He can sit right there. And there is that pin. Looking beautiful. Now, Articuno, not my favorite. Zapdos is my favorite of the birds because he's my second favorite Pokemon of all time, only behind Poliwrath. But definitely my second favorite of the birds is Articuno. So, awesome bird right there. Let's go ahead and set them down. And we've got the two packs here and the one that we already took out. So, there's no code card for the pack itself, but... Inside the booster packs, there will be some cards. So let's go ahead and see what we got. We got a Primal Clash, a Breakthrough, and a Steam Siege. I guess we'll go ahead and start with Primal Clash. We've got that butt right there. Or, Aggron. I named an Aggron butt during a Nuzlocke, so that's kind of a thing. Alright, let's go ahead and open this guy up. And let's see, there's the code card. And we'll get these guys shifted around. Now this set is, the, I believe this is the set that introduced the uh, Ancient Traits cards. So here we've got a B-Barrel. There's Archie's Ace in the hole, and we've got a Whiskash. So I believe in this set, the Ancient Traits can only be uncommons or rares. So yeah, these commons right here, I don't believe have any chance to be Ancient Traits. So here we've got a Surskit. There's Meryl, Torchic, Suiart Torchic, so cute, so beautiful, dude. We've got the Happiest Sphiel. We've got Trapinch, dude, lots of Pokemon that I just love right here. So here we've got a Metacham. Now this is the Ancient Trait thing. So this is actually a Reverse Holo, but this is the Ancient Trait cards. They're kind of like... Almost full arts, but not quite, but still really cool. So reverse holographic, rare actually, Metacham, awesome. And another ancient traits, we've got a Whiskash. So we got a regular Whiskash somewhere in here. There he is. So there's like regular Whiskash next to ancient traits. Really cool. All right. It's kind of weird. He uses Earthquake, but it uses water type energies. Makes sense. Whiskash is kind of the Earthquake Pokemon. That's kind of his, his gimmick right there. But normally he's a water and ground type. A lot of the times ground type Pokemon are shown as fighting type in the uh, inside of the TCG. But I guess in this case it's going to make him water. There might be a fighting type Whiskash somewhere. I don't know, man. But here we've got a Starmie up front doing some kind of signal beam. We've got Spupa. I love Spupa. We've got Snorlax. It almost looks like he's trying to catch Chespin who's falling. I don't know if he's trying to catch him or if he's trying to eat him. I think he's trying to catch him because Chespin probably was trying to steal some berries. We've got Flabebe right there. I think in the background, I think that might be a Pokemon trying to go into a break form. I don't know. Right here we've got a Sandshrew. There's Cubone hanging out at the amusement park all by himself. We've got the Suey Art Noibat. Beautiful. We've got a Pikachu. Reverse Hollow is a Piplup. So cute. He's winking at us, dude. Oh, we got Vivian or Vivian, Vivalon, however you want to say it. We got him. One of my favorite Pokemon. Probably my favorite of the Gen 6 Pokemon. So beautiful. I love him. And that is an awesome art for them as well. Holographic, so we're definitely going to sleeve that one up. There we go. We still got one pack to go, guys. We've got a Steam Siege pack. So let's go ahead and check that out. As you can see on the cover, we got a shiny Gardevoir. So let's see if we can actually pull the shiny Gardevoir. I think this set has dual types. I can't remember which sets exact, exactly have that, but I think this is one of them. So there is the code card. And let's go check this one out. So here we've got a Klefki up front with a very long ability. That is a lot of text right there. Holy crud. We've got a Lampent. There's Gardevoir Spirit Leg. Can we get the shiny Gard Gardevoir, dude? We've got a Litleo. There's Nose Pass, looking so sad. We've got Chimchar. I don't know what's in his mouth. I guess some kind of gear. I don't know what he just broke, but he broke it, man. We've got a Meowth freaking out about something. There's Hopip. Our Reverse Hollow is gonna be a Spiritomb. Look at that guy. Damage play and nightmare. 
Beautiful, that's a rare as well. And our final card! Okay, we do get a dual type, it's a holographic Bisharp. So it's actually gonna be a shiny Bisharp right there. It's gosh dang purples. And well, it's gonna be a dual type. Steel and dark type. Really cool. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for our first video of Legendary Birds Week. Our Articuno's down. We'll be back next time doing that Zapdos. So I'll see you guys then. Take care.